Hey everybody, it's Rich and welcome back to Outlast 2. Now, if you haven't seen any of the Outlast 2 playthrough yet, there's a link in the corner for you so you can catch up on episode 1. For those of you who have been watching, thanks for coming back. I've been looking forward to playing it again. I really am hoping this gets better because so far, it does not compare to the first Outlast game. By any means, let's open this. Um, I'm having to try and remember what we were doing. I just locked that because I think there's a dude nearby. Yeah, he's just outside. I don't think there's anything in here, though, I can, like, use. Why is the music so intense right now? Oh, let's use that weird bit sound stuff. Okay, I don't think he's that close. Where's the window gone? I could have just gone behind the house. Okay, it's dark in here, so we have to leave this thing on. Hey, oh, we can't pick it up. That's disappointing. Lock that. Ugh, we can never crouch at the right height. Where is that dude with a flashlight? I don't remember our character's name, but he's breathing damn loud and he needs a hush. <laughs> Oh, jeez, look. He's right there. Where's he going? Go the other way. Oh, he's in the water. Good thing we didn't go in there. That's it. Go over the other side, you freak. We do not intend the mockery of your will. Do it, even. The spirit entered. Ugh, we can't see out the window when we crouch. Okay, so we're just gonna risk it. Head over here, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Do we climb up the waterfall? Is that the deal? I'm guessing no. Don't look this way, please. Oh, Christ. Oh. Hello. What was that? Oh, we're actually in here. What is the hell? Is this even real? I'm this dreaming. Is, yeah, we're dreaming. This we're is like a fucking mind. Like a vision. Didn't have these in the first out last game. I need to stop complaining. Music class. Yeah, why are we filming this? Where hand. Oh, take your time. Oh, there's something on the, written on the chalkboard. I'm sorry I have to do this. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. 
Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry. There's no picture. Just the static. Noise, but I saw it. I know I saw it. That's backwards. Okay, well, I don't care I'm about sorry I have to do this. watching the footage. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. I was reading it, Boris. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry. Just Plus, we were there in the I beginning. remember this. Me too. Let's get out of here. Yeah, saxophone. Not a trombone. Is that a trombone? No. Okay, we're gonna go up there. Do this one. That's the creepy nest. Or should we run? Am I meant to run at you? Like, okay. <laughs> Running for an extended period of time will exhaust you. Okay, I'm outside now. Where do I want to go? Hmm. It's probably not a good idea to walk out in the snowstorm. Thank you, wind, for opening that for me. Oh! oh no, okay. Are we gonna wake back up in the real world now? Maybe somewhere else? At some point our glasses are gonna break, aren't they? We're gonna have to try and walk around. Seeing all blurry stuff. You're him, ain't you? The outsider. No, so they killed you, didn't they? No. Uh, not yet. Is he gonna help? Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. We trust this guy. Who are you? My name's Ethan. But I mean, are you one of them? And which side are you on? Why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been unborn. Seen too much to keep the faith. But you're not one of those other ones. The, Why are we walking over here? The heretics. Say squat when my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain when not. Pressed himself on my Anna Lee. And she not but 15. I'm sorry. But when he said my grandson, baby he put in her, was my the Antichrist, and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. Seriously, why are we walking like this? This is tough to walk like this. It's, t it's not only slow, but really wobbly. This is a trap, isn't it? I gave her a chance to run. Spun them idiots some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably noticed. Jane Doe. Sorry, your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a boy's. Yeah. Well, what do you know? You seen her? It's why we came here. Is she all right? Please, Mister, just tell me she's okay. She's fine. <sighs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank what are the chances? God. And God bless you. Come on, get you inside. I feel like he's gonna do something weird. Oh, oh, hey, hey there. You really busted your head open, didn't you? I'll be okay. I. I should head down to the roof, cellar. Got a bed down there. You can hide till you're fixed up. Uh, okay, I guess. I have no choice, but. I like my chances. It's alright. You just relax here, I'll keep you safe. 
You rest up and heal. Okay. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Oh, what's that? Oh, bandages. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Oh, I don't remember how to use them. Sleep. Oh, that's new. With the I got better than a hundred times. Hood. If I knew where the outsider was, the prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and her up me. Not questions even now, other heretics at chapel. God will guide. I ain't a hurt. God. She got him. <laughs> you sin when you deny the prophet your daughter. You send sense to the night! Please! Please just let me talk to now! No! The oh, outsider shit. is. Crazy! No! His seed begat the enemy. God and the prophet both want Just let me talk to now! I can explain! God, don't hear dead men! Oh, she made him into a shish kebab. Be still! Your penance. I you. We God cannot help. Me. I'm so sorry. Where you going with your big stick, lady? Oh, God. Poor Ethan. Okay, well, um, yeah, we can't find her. I hope you find your daughter. Wait, what? Who are you talking to? Tear off wooden plank. There we go. You didn't give me up to her. Not even though she... Thank you. Yeah, he should have. And then he could have gone and seen his daughter. Guess we'll that play this now. Woman or whatever she is, beat him to death. Something about finding Lynn. Something about a, a chapel. We were in the chapel. Oh crap! <clears throat> hey, a battery. Thank you. Um, is anything else in here? Probably not. Nothing useful. Oh, he's just been eating corn and. Dudes. Get the heck out of my way. Somebody over there with a flashlight. Or is there? Oh no, it's just a light, like above the door. Swinging around. Where do I go from here? What's our task? Do we get a see? The chapel. Get to the chapel. Somebody there will know where they've taken Lynn. S somebody? I mean, I don't think anyone's your friend except the guy that's dead. Where is the chapel? I'm guessing we just keep walking this way. We'll find it. What? What was that? What was that? Why was there a creepy noise? Do I go this way? What's that noise? What do I keep hearing? Creepy noise. Okay, we can go this way. That is it the right way. There's somebody over there. 
That's a lady. But it is joyous all, for we are in the sorrows of a travailing woman. From this arbor is the place of the breaking forth of yes, the children of hell, but also the opportunity of our salvation. For God is great, and Noth is his prophet. Really and Noth will ransom us from the power of the grave. Noth will redeem us from death. For even redemption cannot be his from the spirit. We are robed in the crimson glory of revelation. Trying to find safe ground to recover. Okay, she's done. Okay, the show's over. How do I hear people? Oh, it's the dude on the uh, PA system. This looks like the goat bridge. Anyone else ever hear of the goat bridge? Goat man? Goat man protects his goat bridge? That's a, that's a thing. Christ. Yeah, who are these people? They got horns. Oh, I don't know what that noise was. Why do I get interrupted if I watch this? They flayed them. Who? Nailed them to wood. Who are they? She was just a kid. Who was? I don't know. I don't know who they, uh... Who's up there? I don't know who this kid was. Who's in this shack? I was thinking it's that old lady. She could be friendly. Probably not. Okay, I just reset my battery. Okay, now we can look at that thing. Okay, chapter five, and it's real long, and I looked at the gear unwound from the night, a fire turned in wood burning from all directions towards the center, and drew the light from the walls of my room so that I hung in a void that shone in rainbows like oil upon a black mirror, and I looked despite the pain, and behold, out of the mists of the inward fire came the likeness of a creature, a figure as like to a man as a circle is to a sphere. As a cross-section of a sphere would make a circle, so the cross-section of this creature would make a man. And this was their appearance. They had the appearance of Jesus Christ's agony upon the cross, and in chest and sex had the appearance of a man. And their faces were innumerable and joined to one another a thousand eyes and everything a mouth with wings and jaws inseparable even in sight and the purpose of the eyes and the purpose of the jaws was both for a more perfect consumption thus were the faces and in the next moment they were the bones of the four horses of the apocalypse and the bones of the horsemen too and in the moment that followed their faces were the sex organs of angels and in the moment that followed a bonfire of flame with voices singing in beauty to render the mind and in the moment that followed a reflection in silvered glass so much reading for their faces were all of these things at once and their wings were joined one to another and as they flapped wove to arrest time and i could not take air into my body this is just rubbish what are you talking about I get that. They didn't close it. I've been talking about sex organs and the chest is made of bone. Somebody there will know where they've taken Lynn. What's going on? This guy's dancing around. Yeah, we need to go save Lynn. Lynn? I think. Um, who is she to this guy? I I can't work out if it's uh, oh. Hey, you look like people from uh, Mount Massive Asylum. I really wish they made this game based off the same lore and it was like at the Zykner facility. Oh, wow. Hello. And it was at the Zykner facility. One thing I realized 
Ooh, remember that you can use the microphone to hear through walls, track sounds to use up, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, so. Ooh. What the hell? What? Oh fuck! Those who rebel against our god shall fall. Their oh, she dragged. Who's that? Their women with child shall be ripped up. Shall be ripped up. Didn't get to finish the recording. Ah, no, didn't manage it. Oh well. How do I get through here? Can I? Even? Doesn't look like it. Uh oh. Who's that? I may be screwed here. Alright, let's hide. Oh, I think that's the chair. I think they might find me. <laughs> uh, how did he take so long? Ah! Dude, run. But then run in circles. Don't stop to do that, you idiot. Zigzag. 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 No! He's as useless as Miles is. Well, how do I flip in? Where do I go? I don't know where I'm going. Where do I go? There's nowhere to go. What the? I can't get through there because it's locked. I'm gonna have to run past him, I guess. I don't know how long I can hide for. Are they gonna turn around? Oh, one of them is. Oh, the other one's going too. Maybe they just check behind that hay bale. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I was watching someone play the original Outlast. I noticed from one of the notes them talking about the Zeichner facility, but also there's a movie you watch in the theater. Oh, there's a freaking hole here, damn it. I keep going off track. Um, the, when you watch the movie in the theater, the guy talks about certain reactions happening. Certain reactions happen in, in Germany, a certain place in Germany. And that's the only place to be able to get successful results. But also, in the whistleblow, they talk about transferring the patients to the Zeichner facility, which is obviously in Germany. So maybe there's going to be a game about that. Because they're going to continue the research, surely. They get better results there. There's nothing here. Is there? It's just some bones. Why is my camera out of focus? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's just a, obviously it's a dead person, but it looks a bit weird.
Oh no. Put in the corn fields. Yeah, this was a pretty rubbish place to hide. Okay. Right. Okay. You know what? That's actually all we've got time for this episode. So make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And the notification bell so you can find out when the next episode goes up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.